in a utopian belief that being honest was okay. And you carry that when into your adulthood. She loved kids. And one of the things she liked to do is, what do we call it, peel off? Remember when you used to peel off, lay rubber? She used to do that in the parking lot when she was picking all the kids up and we were going to swim meet. She'd peel off, lay rubber, and all the kids would be screaming, yeah, Peggy, go! I'm trying to chase this guy down the sidelines. I've got him in my sights. All of a sudden, I'm blindsided, and everything goes black. I open my eyes, and I look up, and my mom is standing there. And I'm just saying, oh, please, Lord, let this be at home. But no, I'm on the field, looking up in the sky. My mom had run out of the stands to make sure I was okay. And she was there the whole time along with the medical team to make sure I was okay when I walked off the field. It was embarrassing at that moment, but as I look back on it now, it, it means a lot to me because it always says to me that she was there no matter what. She taught me patience, and uh, she taught me also to appreciate life. She was a kindergarten teacher, and so she had uh, fun beating each other up. She was always a little back of years ago, and since that time I've been able to realize that uh, how important it is to be for men. We stopped, we made our son junior high, and I didn't think it was very cool to call mom all the time. And if you're an adult, I call her day, some times a day. And now that I'm mom, I can understand where she was coming from. We had a house where all the kids came over our house, and our backyard was always filled with naked kids. Like, mom, that um, We were back in the backyard, where for space was, and uh, my mom, we used to call it the dust bowl, and my mom used to come out at lunchtime with a hose and like a ground crew on the floor. One of the things I was not saying, but if we said we want to do this, play soccer, whatever, that then she did everything possible to help us do that activity. She was probably one of the first soccer moms because when soccer was really starting to off in this summer, she was the original one. Like, I, mean, I they put on like 70,000 miles, like one in a, you know, on, on one of those old, uh, you know, uh, cars, you know, drive for soccer practice. Right? Uh, generated butter on what he said and what was right and what was wrong. My mother was uh, about four foot nine. We called her Dino Mite because uh, she is. But relationship with my mother, uh, she was like to me. Was, uh, my grandmother. I was raised with my grandma, my mother, and my grandmother was a boss. Uh, of course, our mom was true. <laughs> What's amazing? How much you guys? How much your children look like you? Well, you look at it all like you know exactly like mother. I mean, you see all these resemblances, and it's fascinating. I like your mom. <laughs> <laughs> we know. Uh, all right, you guys. New X4 investigation.